Okay, this is the title for phonics. Vowel pairs, A, we have A and A. As you can notice, we have two vowel pairs here. Number one and number two. So what is a vowel pair class? Do you know what is a vowel pair? Do you have any idea what it comes to your mind when you listen to this, this expression, vowel pairs? Some vowel bubbles are two bubbles in one bubble. Okay, yes, vowel pairs it means yes, when you have two vowels like this, you have two vowels, you have vowel A and I and A, Y, and they make just one sound. Excellent, excellent, Khalid. So vowel pairs is when you have two vowels together, when you have two vowels together, but they just make one sound. For example, you see that we have two vowels, but we say A, we do not pronounce both vowels, we just pronounce like one sound. It makes just one sound. So one of them, it might be silent. The other, it might does the long sound. The first one does the long sound and the second one, it's silent. So we just get one sound. Vowel pairs, that is vowel pairs. For example, here, we have these two vowel pairs. Look at this, the information. It says A and A makes make the long A sound. It's a long A sound. Remember that the vowels, they can have short and long sound, but we're going to talk about just long sounds. Use A at the beginning or middle of a syllable word. And use A, that is the same pronunciation, but we have the vowel, uh, the, the vowel with the Y at the end of a syllable or word, like here, you see? Snail, day. They have the same pronunciation, but the spelling is different. They have the same sound, but the spelling is different. Because in number one, we have A-I Y. Now let's pronounce, everybody, I'll mute your microphone and let's pronounce this word. How do you pronounce this word number two? Hail. Hail. Excellent. So as you can notice, they are pronounced, they have the same sound. We have two vowels, but just one makes the lump sound. That is the letter A. The letter A is the only one that it's pronounced. We say they, tray, may, but the Y, it's silently. It doesn't make yes. any sound. The letter I doesn't make any sound. Yes. So now we have here, we're going to pronounce the word. Let's see the pronunciation of this word that contains the vowel sound. You don't have this. You don't have this page in your book. I have it in my book, but you don't have it in your book. So don't, do, do, do not open the book right now. Right now, we're not going to work on the book. You don't have this page in your book, just I. We're talking about vowel pairs. Remember vowel pairs. Now, it says, we're going to pronounce these words, for example, long A sound, and we're going to identify the vowel that it has the long sound, that it sounds like A, that it sounds like A. Like daily. this, like A. Daily. So let's pronounce this word. How do you pronounce word number it's one? Daily. 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 And there's one. Apple. What is the word that contains the A? Now let's look for the A sound also. Let's pronounce these three words. What is the word that contains it? Okay, what is the word that contains the long A sound? That's right, number three. Now the O sound, what is the long O sound, class? How is it going to sound? Like O. O, like this, O. So oh, let's pronounce oh, these words. How do you pronounce oh, this? Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 yeah. So what is the word? Oh. Oh. That's right. Now the long it sound, how does it sound? The long it sound is long like E, like E. So let's pronounce this word. Belly. 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 What is the word that contains two vowels and the sound is like E? The second one. The second one, that's right. We have two vowels, but 
we will have ceiling. So that's just one it makes a sound. The O sound, one more time. How do you pronounce this word? No. No. Oh. 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 Wood. Wood. What is the word? No. Toad. 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 That's right. Toad. Now, what about long eat sound? Remember that it's like an E. How do you pronounce this word? Tree. 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 What is the word? It's tree. Tree. That's right. What about, again, the long eat sound? How do you pronounce it? What is the word? Reason. Remember, if the E long sound, it sounds like E. Reason. What about the long I sound? How does it sound the R? Pronounce. Let's pronounce this word. Let's pronounce this word. Pronounce the word, please. E. Is say sounds like I. Let's pronounce. Mm. How do you pronounce this word? She. So that's the word that we're going to circle. Right. Right. That's right. What about the long O sound? Remember that it's O sound. Post. What is the word? Cost. Cost. This cost. is cost. Cost. Look at the difference. Cost. Cost. So that's it. The answer. What about the long I sound? Remember, it's like I it sounds. Cost. Uh, cost. 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 Careful. 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 Happen? No, it sounds happen. Yeah. Remember that it sounds like a sandy. 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 Look, sandy. listen. Sandy crayons happen. Happen. Sandy. No, sandy. it has to sound like crayons. 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 You have two vowels, and that is the word that contains the long a sound. Now, excellent. You did a great job. You did a great job. Job. Remember that when we have two vowels together, one is soundly and the other makes the long sound. So we're going to talk about these vowel pairs in page 89. We, we have the rule. Open your book on page 89. It says, in a vowel pair, two vowels come together. To make one long sound, the first vowel in the pair usually stands for its long sound. And the second one is silent. Like they see, the letter A we pronounce, but the I is silent. We say Daisy, but the one that it's pronounced is just the first vowel. So now let's look at the picture and we're going to first write the name of each of this picture. We have here the vocabulary. We have road, pressure, queen, train, nails, chip, hay, uh, bits, tie, curl, toads, and sheets. So let's label this picture. What is number one, class? <clears throat> what is the picture number one? Yeah. Number one, no. Number one is toast. That is number one. Here you have the vocabulary that you're going to use to match in this page. So that is a toast. So toast is number one. What about number two? Do you know what is this? Do you realize what is number two? Catholic people people use this when they are um, praying, when they are using the rosary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, no. when they are in the rosary, they use any one of the pearls of the breeds yes, that they use. Yes, como un collar. Mm -hmm. Un rosario, oh, un rosario. Catholic people use road. that. Road. It's a, road. no, it's not a road, it's a bit. Ah, yo pensé que era un kiss. Mm -hmm. Rosario, we can say that uh, the, 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 how it's made of the, the, the rosary, it's made of this. Number three, what is number three class? How do you say this in English? Nails. 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 That is number three. That's right. Nails. What about number four? Road. Road. That is number four. Road. Road. What about no. number five? Queen. Yeah. Yeah. It's a king. Queen. Yeah. That's right. It's a queen. It's a it's a girl. What about number six? Hey. Okay, excellent. Number seven, what is that animal? Bear? Crow. You have here the vocabulary. Let's use the vocabulary. It's a crow, crow. that's right. Crow. And number eight. Chess. Chess, that's right, it's a chess. Excellent. So let's label, let's label uh, this picture. Write the name for each of these pictures. Okay, great. As you can as we use just eight words, but we have more than eight. So some of these words that they are um that we did we didn't use, we're going to use to complete for nine to fourteen. Finish class? Did you finish the first part? Ahí viene José, mamá. Yes. Okay, let's let's work on the second part. It says reach each sentence, complete the sentence with a word from the word bank at the top of the page. So let's see, Lucia, help me to read sentence number nine, Lucia. Or class row eight to visit a farm. Hmm. What do you think is the answer for number nine? Um <coughs> they rode to visit road. a farm. No, we have road. They rode a way of transportation. You can road a, a train, road a train to visit a farm. Thank you. Number 10, Siyan, read number 10, Siyan. The farm we saw brown cows and white. Which other animals? In the sentence is mentioned that at the far they saw cows and which other animals you can see, Valerie? Cows? Chickens? No, use, use the vocabulary that it's here on top. Cow. Why the crowd is white? Cows are white and sheep. Chips. That's right. Chip, it's white. So they, uh, in the, right. the far, they sold cows no. and chip. Excellent. Valerie, read number 11. We saw a farm working making in a shark. Cheese. Cheese, that's right. I was making cheese in a church. Let's continue number 12, Fernando. The farmer made a strange to put in the files. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It says the farmer made it strange to put in the field. Okay, they make something. Um, okay. It, they were trying to create something, but it wasn't a strange creature. So I'm going to give you the answer. It's creature. They make a strange creature to put in the field. 
Number 13, then it says the scarecrow wore a uh, around its neck. What you can wear in the in the neck neck? We're using just the words that we have here and the vocabulary, uh, the word bank. Mm -hmm. So the scarecrow wore a uh, around its neck. They can use a tie around tie. the neck. Mm, great. Number 14, Camila. Every single flew out of the field because it was scarlet. Mm -hmm. Which animals mm -hmm. can fly? That it's crow. crow. That's oh. right. Every single crow oh. flew out because it's any here of the bird. Out the field because it was scared. Perfect. Now, as you can notice, all these words they contain two vowels together, and we we pronounce them using the long sound, the long sound of the first vowel in each word. Excellent. Did you finish clip page number 89? Yes. 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 Now yes. let's pronounce this word. How do you pronounce this word? Number one, oats. Number two, beads. Number three, nails. Number five, Perfect. Great job. Now let's go to page number 90. We have more words using this. This like rule that we say the vowel pairs, the vowel pairs that contains the A sound. Now it says read the sentences and underline each word in which you hear that the long sound A. of the vowel pairs A and A. Remember that we're talking about A and A. And then we have another instruction. It says circle the number of the sentence that describes the picture. So we have a number one, one picture. Look at them. And we have three sentences. Now, sentence number one, what it says in the sentence number one. They wanted to go to the spring house. Mm -hmm. What is the word that contains the A, the A sound? J. J, that's right. We have the combination of A, Y, and straight. That's right. So it's going to be J and straight, the one that you are going to underline. This two. J. And a straight because you see we have the a, a y and a i. What about sentence number two? He had to wait in the line to get a ticket. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, wait, wait. Just that one? Yes, yes, yes. Just wait, just wait. It's the one that contains that. What about number three? They feel to get on the train. Yay. J failed train. That's right. Excellent. So the three words we're going to underline because the three of them contains the A sound using the two vowel pairs. So you're going to underline train, fail, and J. Now, another instruction says circle the number of the sentences that describe the picture. Which of these three sentences describe this picture class? B. Letter B, Letter B, you have to wait in line to get a ticket. Yes. Yes, yes that's right. Look at them. They are making the line. They might and be waiting for a ticket on the train station. Mm -hmm. So and that's going to be number two. So you circle mm -hmm. number two. And the number three? Jay mm -hmm. failed to get on the train. Mm -hmm. No, because what you see here, yeah, they might be waiting for a ticket for the train. But it says, look at the picture, it says tickets. It's labeled, it says tickets and they are in the line waiting. So number two is the property. Santiago Chavez, help me to read the next sentence, Santiago Chavez. Okay. Uh, 
for basic to to see how the sand is. A good donkey strayer in cold daylight. Which words were going to serve uh, under like oh that contains the eight sound? Daylight, daylight, eight gray, trade, mm -hmm. daylight. That's right. So we have many words. We have day. That's right. You say we have three words. Great, day, and daylight. Continue with the readings until we have and a means a yes. Oh, just this one because we say a great donkey, a great donkey straight into the daylight. Just these words contains the a sound. Number two, Santiago Chavez. Continue with the reading. It won't turn to the head. Straight. Straight. And do we have another one? Hey. Yes, we have a straight and hey. That's right. So we we underline straight and hate. Continue with the number three, Santiago. Other combinations here, like nitrogen and oxygen. That donkey braided as it braided down. Hey, uh, hey, break, yes, braided. Excellent. That three words that you mentioned, great. So we underline them. Now, the other step is that we need to circle what is the off sentence that it refers to the picture. Look at the picture here. Which Number three. Donkey. The donkey. Did the donkey break as he's ready to hate? Mm, no, it's not doing that. Yeah, it's a donkey, but what is he doing? Number five. Eight. Number, number five, five, number five. Number five. Number one. It went right. That's right. This is a hay. This is the hay, and it's going straight. So it's going. It's walking to the hay. So it's number five. Great. So circle number five. I finished. Mia. Finished. Okay, let's work on the second part. We have reach each sentence, complete the sentence with a word from the word bank. Try to do it by yourself. You have the word bank, read the sentences and try to do it. I'm going to take the attendance while you are working on the second part. And then we're going to check the answers class. Try to do it by yourself. Okay, Anna, Andre, and Camila. Present. 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 Thank you. Just hold on. Cam uh, Gabriela, Isabella, and Chiara. Present. 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 Lucia, me, and Rebecca. Present. 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 Rosa, Valerie, and Sian. Present. 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 Okay, great. Present. All the girls. Perfect. Alberto, Dani, and Fernando. Present. Present. Perfect. Adam is Joshua and Kale. Present. Mm. Joshua. Present, Diego. Present. Present. Okay. Marcelo, Santiago Hernandez, and Santiago Chavez. Present. Present. Santiago Hernandez Piaios. No. No here. No. Okay. Thank you. Who has the answer on number one class? It says number seven, feed that the room was pretty. We have this to use this vocabulary. Bay, gray, weighted, rain, paint, plain, paint, 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 weight, feel, nails, daisies, and complete. Teacher is paint. Paint. They paint that the room was ready. No. Wait, wait. He was complaining. Complain. He was complaining that the room was ready. So then it says that brown walls were too. They were brown, the walls. How does they look if they are brown in the same color? They look 
plain. When oh, they are in the same color, we say they look like plain. It was the same color, or maybe they don't have the, the enough colors, the happy colors that this boy, or it might be a boy face, wants to have in the room. Now it says that he decided to her room. Paint. Paint. To paint, that's right. He decided to paint the room. Oh, it's a girl because it's a she. So it's a girl face. She went, she wanted light walls. Like what? Which Milani. color? Which color do you think is going to be now the wall? Uh, green. 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 Now she wants light green walls. No more brown. Now green. She used one of paint. One day, the, day. What, what is the thing that you use when you're painting? Yeah. You use one brush. Pale, brush. pale, that's right, pale, pale paint. Then she did one wall a different because I love different paint. No, she did one wall a different, it's a different manner, it's a different what. Way. way, way. That's right. It's a different way. She put a wallpaper with a pail. No, she she's trying to decorate the room. Daisies. That's right. Wallpaper with daisies, and it outside will be painted. What was happening outside? How was the weather? Rain, rainy. It was raining. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Rain outside will paint. It she was painted inside of the house, but outside it was raining. Then she poured the paint to dry. She had to smear. No. Yeah. Remember when you're painted, it's not just when you paint, it's dry the paint. Wait, wait, that's right. She waited for the paint to dry. One, it was dry. Then it says she didn't like that. The time that it was taking too much time waiting for that. The delay, delay. So then she hung the pictures on. Would you? It's something that you use when you are uh, having some nails. Uh, nails. That's right. Wallpapers. If you have a photo in your house, so you need you need to have a nail to hand the picture. And the last one. It says she put yellow curtains on her large window. Bay, 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 bay. Excellent. Finish class. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay, yes. show me your books. Everybody show me the book class. Remember that in phonics this week you don't have any homework. So okay, perfect. You are dismissed. You can disconnect. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.